much, Brother Barry Switzer. We are awaiting a call from Mr. Adam Carolla, author of the New York Times bestseller, President Me. And now he's got a book called Daddy, Stop Talking Shiz, (laughs) without the shiz. It's just Daddy, Stop Talking and Other Things My Kids Want But Won't Be Getting. I'm afraid to read this book. I have paged through it a little bit. And it's all stuff that I'm afraid to do that he's right about. <laughs> <laughs> about parenting? Yeah. But, but, you know, about being a tough parent, which is pretty funny, being that he's a comedian and, you know, a radio host, uh, TV guy, the whole thing. Well, it's funny. I was listening to him. Uh, Opie had him on on Monday. And he was talking about being a parent and sort of having money now, right? And he didn't grow up with a lot of money. Mm-hmm. So he's, you know, trying to strike that balance between spoiling his kids or not spoiling his kids. And he sees them getting spoiled from time to time. And he thinks, God damn it, I'm doing it wrong. You know? Yeah. We Am should I all supposed make our... to answer this or she is? She'll answer it real quick. And Weez, while we just wait 15 seconds for Adam Kroll to join us, can I mention I'll be at Garber Honda today from 4 until 6 in Henrietta mm-hmm. doing a live broadcast. 4 to 6 today. How, how sweet it is. Fun. I'm trying to answer this bad boy. Should make your kids burn poop. Brother Adam. <laughs> yeah, Brother Weeze. How are you, sir? I'm doing well. How are you doing? I'm doing good. I was perusing the book. Uh, just what what was uh, before we uh, will sell Daddy Stop Talking and other things your kids want, and you ain't getting it for them because you're a mean dude. But before that, what what was President Me? Uh, what was that book? Yeah, what, what was, I just saw, I did not, I wasn't aware of it, because your boy Howard Lapidus wouldn't tell me, and I'm sure I'd love to read it. Uh, well, you can. You can go to Amazon, probably get a used one for buck eighty nine. I like new ones. Uh, <laughs> I like Kindle. Uh, I, it was a base, i go there and for, for four bucks, you can get it. Uh, I wrote four, this is my fourth book. Uh, that was my third book. Uh, that was just basically this the country and the world uh, if I was in charge. Well, that's the one I want to read. I want to read that one <laughs> because I'm a I'm All a right. fa- pardon me. You, you may I, I I will not stop you. Thank you or dissuade you from reading that book. Thank you because this one I can't read because I'm a I'm a parent uh, of many children. And a pretty bad one. And I know your book here, Daddy Stop Talking, uh, will try to make people into better parents the way it seems to me. Am I off here? No, no, I don't, I don't think you're off. I, I think everyone within the sound of my voice should probably get the first book or the last book and and get Daddy Stop Talking. And, uh, and that way you'll know everything, every thought that's run through my head in the last three years. But this, but the kids' book right here, is this is this humor, or are you actually trying to mold parents to be better? Uh, it is a, a book that is trying to mold parents to be better with lots of humor in it. There you go. I did peep because I'm terrible at it, but I could do it because I, you know, I do the spoiling. It's brutal. Uh, how many kids do you have? Two yeah. of these two cuties on the cover. Uh, yeah, those are my kids. I have I have twins. Oh, those are twins of both one each gender. What a lucky guy! Yeah, right. Golden ticket. Did they both accompany you to the Indy Five Hundred on that private jet? Uh, uh, yeah, I just got back from the Indy Five Hundred. No, my uh, boy went with me to the uh, Indy Five Hundred on the private jet, which was uh, pretty damn cool. I didn't pay for the jet, but uh, somebody did. Nice. And, uh, yeah, we went out on the middle of the track, and uh, I got in the car with Mario Andretti, and we did a couple laps. It was pretty exciting. So you and I have never met, Adam, but I, I requested, you know, I got shut out of the original tour. But, you know, the fact that uh, you have suffered with my friend Adam, <laughs> Adam, with my friend Howard Lapidus, and, and you obviously, did you know Trip also? Trip Reed? Yeah. Yeah, Trip Reed was a pro, was a station manager when I was at uh, K Rock. Well, Trip was uh, completely responsible for me being this lucky to have a thirty year radio career. Completely responsible, and then Howard, of course, was another story. I, I spent a bunch of years with Howard before you guys met him, 
And uh, I thought that the Rolling Stones might have written that song under assistant West Coast promotion man. Howard is a special, strange cat. But he he, he started the man show that you were a star of, correct? Uh, well, Howard started it? Well, that's what he tells you. You know Howard. <laughs> oh, <laughs> Yeah, no, that was that was me and Jimmy's idea. Well, what? But Howard's name was on it somehow. All right. <laughs> well, what can I tell you? Go turn it on. Go ahead, Mary. Hey, I have All a right, question, uh, Adam. I'll I've got a... Well, hold on. Let Whoops. me go look up the man show. <laughs> <laughs> Adam, I have a question <laughs> about your daddy stop talking book. In one part, you say that you know there's Wi-Fi and climate-controlled minivans and. I don't have kids, but I've got like nieces and nephews, and I see when I'm a when I'm babysitting them, I do it because it's easy. It's like shuts them up. I don't have to entertain them. I feel like sometimes we're just lazy, maybe because it's easier to shut up your yeah. kid. Yeah, that's why you just hand them the tablets and they sit in the back seat of your car and they'll talk for two <laughs> hours while you're driving. It is. So, what do you do instead of I, Wi-Fi and and uh, movies in the minivan? Do you talk to them instead? Well, thankfully, I don't have a minivan, <laughs> but uh, I try to talk to them as much as I can. I also try to play them good music and tell them, like, hey, this is a good song. Listen to this song. Listen to this music. Like, don't listen to that bubblegum crap you're listening to. Listen How to do they respond good. to so that? Actually, <laughs> yeah, that's a good we question. We the car, time for music. Well, that's funny because I fight with my kids in the car every day over the music thing, and it's uh, I'm and do losing. they hate it? I'm losing. Yeah, do you turn your kids on to it, or do they go, no, listen to this, and then now you've got new songs that you like? No, no, I, <laughs> I, 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 I always force them to listen to the music <laughs> I like, and, and I've gotten them to like the music I like. So God, I wish I could pull this off. Thing. Someone just told me you're a big John Hyatt fan, also one of my favorites. Uh, he sung my uh, wedding song, that you know, Have a Little Faith in Me. Yeah, that's uh, one of his best, and uh, I love every John Hyatt song. Huge, huge Hyatt fan. That's beautiful. Well, it's Adam Carolla. Man, it's Adam Carolla. Don't be talking crap to your kids. It's called Daddy Stop Talking. And other stuff his kids want, but they won't be getting from this dude, Adam Carolla. Thank you, Adam. Thanks for having me. Holy Jeez, moly. Jeez, what was up with that? Holy <laughs> moly. Can I say three holy molies? <laughs> and the name of the book is Daddy Stop Talking. It was like, Daddy, please say something. <laughs> <laughs> did, holy. Did he hang up on you? Show, like, right no, away? I hung up on oh, him. Oh, good. He's got to be in a bad mood or something, because I listened to a couple well, interviews with him this well, morning. Well, maybe I'm the worst interviewer for in town. Show maybe, prep maybe, and... maybe Kimberly and Beck were right. <laughs> you know, I'm the worst. He strikes me as one of those people who probably is sitting there yeah, at a speakerphone doing 15 or 20 or 30 but of these not in a today. row. And I think today, uh, I think he's on a tour, and he's probably just one of those people who well, just thinks it's stupid. First of all, that's Howard, Lepi- yeah. Howard Lapidus' name is definitely on that TV show. Oh, it is. It's the, right there was on, an it's Onion a, article about the a reunion of the man show. Uh, it was a joke, obviously, yeah. but Howard Lapidus' name is in that Onion sure. piece. I mean, the dude, the, you know, we didn't get that interview, and because of Trip and his connection to Howard, which is a big part of my everything... I figured we'd get a few chuckles, but it seems like this guy didn't want to be. He should have said "screw wees" and yeah. not done it. I wish I knew what station he was on with now, because I'd love to hear if it's yeah, the same. Yeah, I want to hear another I interview. Th- I think the guy's got a beef on me that I don't know about. Dr. Drew, who was his partner on Love Lines, isn't that what it was? Yeah, it was. Was in the studio and had a ball. Yeah, at least he said he did. You should reach out after that for a while. The funny, you know what a big podcast fan I am, and I just can't get into Adam Carolla. And he's supposed to be the record holder. Yeah, it says he's in to be his the thing. Best. I'm not. I I can't. Does enjoy he sound him. anything like what we just saw? Sort of, he, he's. I've read his first book, and not even the president one, but he's sort of a conservative guy politically. Well, I can and see the president me. I, I like my favorite seat. part was Wee's going. Hey, what's President Me about? Well, buy it and read it. Yeah. Buy it yourself. I was Good like, Lord. okay, thank you. It's tough. It's tough to take oh, on that attitude when you're trying wow. to sell something. Man, did I feel bad. <laughs> no, and we've stuck. never talked to him before, right? No. no. Yeah. Somebody. <laughs> I, I I wanted to because of tri- even when I brought up John Hyatt, the Billy Moran just brought me in and out. Yeah. Yeah. 
Yeah, I like That's him. That's right, I like John. It was like he was trying to be a bad interview. Yeah. Because he would know. He's a radio guy. He knows he was, how, to, he knows not, how you know, life I, works. I didn't want to say point. the guy had a good show yeah. in L.A. And then when the Talking. new rating systems came out, he went in a crapper and they fired him, which was a mistake because I heard he had a good show. And uh, then he went to the podcast, but huh. he got fired off the radio. Man, but, I almost wish you would have said something to him now. Like, it, well, like what? Dude, are you I all right? Howard. I should call Howard. Let's call Howard. You got his number? Yeah, of course. The funny thing is, Howard. Uh, you oh, know who? Because Howard yeah. can talk. Howard might be obnoxious, <laughs> he might be a but better he interview. will talk. Oh, yeah. he'll 100%. Oh. The only thing is he won't. <laughs> Oh, well, Daddy, stop talking. I mean, you know who my favorite guy in the world is, Kevin Smith. Yeah. And Adam Carolla and Kevin Smith had a humongous beef. Really? They were supposed to do a TV show. They had a TV pilot they were supposed to do together. And somehow one kept, or Adam kept blaming Kevin on something, and it never came off. And they wound up in a huge feud that you can find online if you want to look for it. But they wound up not liking each other, and you know which side I'm taking, so... Aye, aye, aye. Everyone says when he's on Jay Moore, he's hilarious. But then somebody else says he's on Jay Moore's show, and it's like watching grass grow. So who knows? Really? <laughs> yeah. Someone says each Two day? different yeah, reviews. <laughs> yeah, like I said, I listened to him with Opie this morning on my way here, and it really? was fantastic. He was full of energy. You couldn't shut the guy up. Wow. It was unbelievable. What's that? Hey, Adam Crow, I listened to him on my way here this morning with Opie. You know, I was doing show prep for our interview, trying to pick out a few nuggets. So what'd you pick out? I had the yesterday was his birthday. He went to the Indy five hundred on a private jet, and then he and then when we brought that when Opie brought that up, he went on a five minute tirade about how well, this is what I'm doing. I'm spoiling my kids. You know, now this kid he thinks private yeah, jets that's are normal. The whole topic, like it's a great <laughs> topic of spoiling your children, and he did not want to talk about it. And there's a guy that like, says yeah. he can't get into Corolla's podcast at all. It's three one five. Another guy said he sabotaged me. That's kind of funny. Uh, we're going to call Howard uh, J. Moore's, and it's like watching grass grow on J. Moore. That's what I was guy saying. Goes, One guy said he loves him. <coughs> he did sound like he was on muscle relaxers. Somebody like, else says oh. he's just pissed because Kimmel is successful and he sucks. And when he's on Jay Moore, he's hilarious. Oh, he tried to bring up all the points. Someone thinks he's on muscle relaxers. <laughs> My buddy Danun says he goes on Fox News all the time and always acts like an ass. He said does that? that. Same deal. My buddy Danun's back. Danun's yo, my brother. iHeartRadio. Danun's in Listening. Ohio. And Fox is like his thing. Yeah, that's his political, that's his, yeah, it's right. where he sides, for huh. sure. That was really weird. Really yeah, I weird. I thought it was just me. And Marianne with the great point, too. He's a radio guy. He knows. He, he talks for, radio The guy. name of his book is Daddy Stop Talking. You'd think <laughs> he'd be talking. Well, we're going to try and get a hold of Brother Howard for fun to uh, elongate this this, uh, I'm th- anybody want this book? I would have read it. But I'll take it. Like, Do I want to look at it. Give it to one of your sisters that our parents or save it for you. But that that is the name. Says he's the record holder for most downloaded broadcasts in the world. Podcast, excuse me. Podcast. He went on a, you know, you kept bringing up Howard Lapidus, and I knew he had a great story. He just last summer or something, or two summers ago, went on an RV trip, him and his wife, with Howard and Howard's wife. No way. And and apparently had a terrible time and had, and, and had a story about it. He did have one lap when I said <laughs> Howard said he was his show. When's the last time you actually talked to Howard? Oh, uh, last summer. <laughs> oh, because both the numbers are disconnected. <laughs> oh. Yeah, we'll call from over here. <laughs> I did, he calls me from these numbers. Did you call the work number or just no. the? Uh, I want, hey, hey, Billy, come here and dial these numbers. It's too hard to believe that Howard's cell and uh, and home number. His home number might have moved because I think he got a divorce. I don't know how to dial a phone number anymore, guys. Well, you, you know, Where never, did the millennials he doesn't, go? He doesn't no, have no. a phone. Billy doesn't even have a freaking you, phone. Then we'll see what happens. I dialed each number three we'll times. Cell what, phone, we'll dead, not happens. turning on. You're probably right. You're home a good dialer. But you, you're a good dialer, Jay. You, she did have a wrong number at one point on the last year. Oh, my got, gosh. I had did. one wrong number. They got to fire me on this. <laughs> see anybody saying to fire you? No, I just but you're I ju- you Are you reading my emails now, Jesse? Right now, I'll tell you that. But you did pre- previously wow. dial the wrong number. Do you remember So which why number? wouldn't I think that you could have again? It's okay. We'll have the guy who doesn't have a cell phone or an iPad. Call or from anything. your cell phone. Or that could have worked, too. There is one one really funny thing about when you hand a cell phone to Billy. Yeah. <laughs> the, because I, he, you, we's, what happened in our studio, Weez just handed it, and Billy went into the other room. He holds it with he two hands. It. Yeah, it's 
like a baby. In front of him, and he does. He Precious. holds it kind of like a baby, kind of like, oh no, oh no. But what do I do with the baby? I'm really confused. <laughs> Yeah, I don't know. I'm, I apologize. He's, he doesn't see the rotary option, so he can't dial. <laughs> My busiest day is going to be Thursday. And mm-hmm. Thursday is going to be the radio tour in the morning. And then when you're done with the radio tour, it's right off to Fox and Friends and O'Reilly or whatever whatever it is. Just tip. I think O'Reilly was the outnumbered. day before, outnumbered, and what all the shows, whatever it is. But it's going to start with the radio tour. And uh, I thought I'd just play you a little clip. Oh, please don't be me. Please don't be me. Of a sound of, uh, yeah, Gina's on it as That well, was fun. We got to have a little chit chat. Of me being beleaguered. Now, keep in mind, I'm signing books at midnight at Caroline's wow. the night, that night. Mm-hmm. And then it's. Radio tour starts promptly. Yeah, it's like seven thirty, whatever it is. But I don't get back to my room till yeah. twelve thirty. And by the way, I'm running on fumes now because I've been going the whole sure. the whole time. I'm not going to mention anyone's names. I'm not here to uh, call out anybody. But here is me. Uh, I think about my ninth or tenth radio station. Right. How are you, sir? I'm doing well. How are you doing? I'm doing good. I was perusing the book. Uh, just what what was uh, before we uh, will sell Daddy Stop Talking and other things your kids want and you ain't getting it for them because you're a mean dude. But before that, what what was President Me? Not the title. Uh, what was that book? Yeah, what, what was I just saw, I did not know I wasn't aware of it because your boy Howard Lapidus wouldn't tell me, and I'm sure. Wow. Well, Gary's having some technical. So first off, let's oh. talk about the other book because I never heard of it. And also, it's a pet peeve of mine when people reference people who the audience doesn't know, like your boy, this person, whoever it is. Well, but it's and not- he's not just referencing him. He's calling him out on not giving him the right information. Yeah, but he's not saying your boy, Jimmy Kimmel, who right. we all know. No, I, boy- I, I agree. This is a manager that I had. Well, it's been over a decade. <laughs> oh, yeah. No, no longer associated with. I should no, yeah, not, to all that. Not at all. But nobody knows who he is. Yes. Right. But that's... But anyway, and for some reason, some obsession with the book that came before. Yeah. But, but not that, that I about. not that I loved it. He and so this one's going to be good. Wasn't but I wasn't aware. aware of it. Okay. All right. Feeling good. <laughs> Glad I got up for this one. Here we go. I just saw, I did not know. I wasn't aware of it because your boy Howard Lapidus wouldn't tell me, and I'm sure I'd love to read it. Uh, well, you can. You can go to Amazon. Probably get a used one for buck eighty nine. I like new ones. Uh, <laughs> I like Kindle. Uh, I- it was a base. I go there and for, for four bucks you can get it. Uh, I wrote four. Oh, this is my fourth book. Uh, that was my third book. Uh, that was just basically this the country and the world. Uh, if I was in charge, well, that's the one I want to read. I want to read that one <laughs> because I'm a. I'm a right. Pardon me. You may. I, I. I will not stop you. Thank you. Or dissuade you from reading that book. Thank you because this one I can't read. Because all right, now you gotta you gotta realize now they they do these things in six and a half minute increments, you know, where it's like the other guys waiting on the line, yeah. And I'm also staring down the barrel of an endless day, <laughs> and yeah. we're going on lap number four about mm-hmm. the book that came out a year and a half ago. I mean, about how he can yeah. consume it or can't consume it. It it sounds like he's just burning the clock, like he's just saying weird stuff to throw everybody off until it's over. All right, well, let's see what happens. So you and I have never met him, but I requested, you know, I got shut out of the original tour. But, you know, the fact that uh, you have suffered with my friend Adam. Adam, Uh, Now, the other thing is like that part where you got to go, I got shut out of the tour. It's like, it has nothing to do with me. I I clearly make my own schedule. Yeah. Agenda. Well, also, maybe this is why you're getting shut out of the tour. Hmm. Yeah, if you don't have anything nice to say, <laughs> I mean, there's not much here to, yeah, like. All right, here we go. Original tour, but, you know, the fact that uh, you have suffered with my friend Adam, Adam, with my friend Howard Lapidus, and, and you obviously, did you know Trip also? All right, you're going to stop it there. Trip Green? Yeah. First off, I used the whole name. <laughs> did you know Trip? But he doesn't seem like such an insider if he just, if he does that. Is this guy's show like all inside showbiz stories? Because then maybe no, his audience knows. No, it's a morning and... show. That's weird. But so far we've covered the book that came before. Your ex manager and my ex. So everyone no wants reference to, talk to about. manager, just your boy uh, and another right. guy nobody's heard of. Yeah. Uh, right. Sam only. Who? All right. Well, we'll see if we can figure out. Now, I want to hear this guy sizzle reel. I will <laughs> try to clear up trip. Trip Reed. Yeah. 
Yeah. Trip Reed was a pro, was a station manager when I was at uh, K Rock. Well, Trip was uh, completely responsible for me being this lucky to have a thirty year radio career. Completely responsible, and then Howard, of course, was another story. I, I spent a bunch of years with Howard before you guys met him, and uh, I thought that the Rolling Stones might have written that song under assistant West Coast promotion man. Howard is a special, strange cat, but he 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 started the man show that you were a star of, correct? Uh, well, Howard started it. Well, that's what he tells you. Know Howard? <laughs> oh. <laughs> Yeah, no, that was that was me and Jimmy's idea. Well, what, but Howard's name was on it somehow. All right. <laughs> well, what can I tell you? Go turn it on. Go ahead, Mary. Hey, I have a right, question, uh, Adam. I've got a hold, right. hold on. Let Whoops. me go look up the man show. <laughs> 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 right, Howard Lebeis must come up on his show all the time because he's talking about like the guy that everyone knows. All right, so I'm any, Ross. anyway, I'm. Getting up early to do a book tour. <laughs> yeah, haven't mentioned it yet. Yeah, book not called. I once knew Trip Reeb and Howard Lapidus, <laughs> right? Yeah. All right. Uh, it's a solid subtitle. Anyway, they can uh, you can hear what their reaction was. I didn't know about this obviously until uh, after we hung up. Holy jeez! Moly. What was up with that? Holy <laughs> moly! Can I say three holy moles? <laughs> and the name of the book is Daddy Stop Talking. It was like, Daddy, please say something. <laughs> <laughs> did, holy did he hang up on you? Show, like, right no, away? I hung up on oh, him. Good. Oh. He's got to be in a really? bad mood or something, because I listened to a couple well, interviews with him this well, morning. Maybe I'm the worst interviewer in town. Show maybe, prep maybe, and, maybe Kimberly and Beck were right. <laughs> you know, I'm the worst. He strikes me as one of those people who probably is sitting there yeah, at a speakerphone doing 15 or 20 or 30 but of these not in a today. row. And I think today, I think uh, he's on a tour, and he's probably just one of those people who well, just thinks it's stupid. Well, let me tell you something. Lepi- yeah. Howard Lapidus' name is definitely on that TV show. Oh, oh it is. It's the, right there was out, an it's Onion a, oh, article about the a reunion of the man show. Uh, it was a joke, obviously, yeah. but Howard Lapidus' name is in that Onion sure. piece. I mean, the dude, <laughs> the the, you know, Lapidus. we didn't get that interview, and because of Trip and his connection to Howard, which is a big part of my everything... I figured we'd get a few chuckles, but it seems like this guy didn't want to be... He should have yeah. not done it. I wish I knew what station he was on with now, because I'd love to hear if it's yeah, the same. Yeah, I want to hear another I interview. Th- I think the guy's got a beef on me that I don't know about. Dr. Drew, <laughs> who was guy? his partner <laughs> on right. Love Lines... You finally got right. your blood vendetta against him? <laughs> Later, one of them goes on to say that a year or two ago, you and Lynette took a RV trip with Howard Lapidus and his wife. Why is he obsessed? How was that? Was that fun? It was awesome. Ask my doppelganger, and we'll Holy get moly. an answer. Holy moly. Holy moly. Holy moly. Three holy moly's. By the way, that goes on for quite a while. Are you, it's a weird life, right? Adam, how do you feel? Are you b- bemused, <laughs> bewildered? You Are you just confused? Are you pissed? I'm just glad I have a witness. In, uh, I'm just glad oh. I have witnesses. That, no. That's all. Yeah, wow. I don't even know what to say. I don't, I don't know what just happened. Now, I know you don't want to give away where this is, but can you give me the range of market size, please? <laughs> I mean, where are we? Is it like small and smaller? Okay. I don't know how. Listen, my whole thing is I'm as whatever's anybody wants to be with me, and if we're just going to go down this endless wormhole of Trip Reeves and Howard Lapidus's, I, I'm not going to give you many. An- I'm, I'm going to yeah. be kind of short in my answer because I don't want to go off on a diatribe. Right. I don't want to go, funny story about Howard Lapidus. I hope you have enough time we can squeeze this in because I'm plugging my book. There are many things in the book that we can mine some comedy out of. Sure. But well, that's what I've, he started anecdotes. the interview by saying he doesn't want to talk about the book. Not this book. Not the one you're plugging. Right. He wanted to talk about the last one, yeah. which he didn't see <laughs> right. or read. Never heard or of what it. The, what was that about? Are you excited for the next book tour? We can talk about Daddy Stop Talking with him. <laughs> I'm just saying, do you have to do eight minutes on what a douche I am after that? Oh, it's material. All right. <laughs> I, I think he just wanted you to be more excited that you had a mutual acquaintance. That nobody's heard of. Yes, exactly. Okay. Howard must come up on that later, show a lot. Later in that show, he announces that he wants to call Howard. <laughs> okay, and, that's what I'm saying. And then, that's what I'm saying. And then two minutes goes by and his producer announces that both numbers he has for him are disconnected. <laughs> ah. Well, maybe they're not as close as... This, you know, originally anticipated. 
All right. Oh. Anyway, now I'm in a better mood. Casserole, everybody. <laughs> No, I'm in my underpants in my hotel room knowing I'm supposed to meet Lee, the press guy, down in the lobby at 8.45 to start a thing that is going to end up with me back at the hotel at 5 and then back at Caroline's again that night. And I'm just sitting there talking about Trip Reeb thinking, uh, I got to get out of here. <laughs> well, if it's any consolation whatsoever, people who heard you on The Sound, 100.3 The Sound, really enjoyed it. Well, it was good to hear a familiar voice on there. And, and it's always insane, too, when radio guys do. It's a, um, it's a form of grandiosity, which is, well, maybe she's got it in for me. Right. As in he's on your radar. Yep. Th- that, I would have to include you and the entire country of China, because that's another <laughs> large group of people who I don't know. Right. So, no, it's nothing. Yeah, it's a long hit list. It's a pretty long hit list. Uh. Yeah. No, I don't know who you are. All right. Anyway, that's what I do. That's my life, everybody. Cash Congratulations, roll. by the way. Thank you. Oh, man. Intelligent molecules. Now, here's some intelligent molecules. Up to 75% engine wear. When, it, when does it occur? During warm-up. How long does warm-up last? 20 minutes. So those little uh, trips to the corner store. Trip. Trip. <laughs> <laughs> Tomorrow's show will be uh, Brian Grazer, who's uh, done every show on the planet, every movie on the planet. Big time movie producer. Him and uh, Howard Ron Lapidus. Howard. No. <laughs> Ron Howard Lapidus. Ron Howard Lapidus. <laughs> I just, uh, I shouldn't say this on the radio, but I got it because that's how I do bad radio. Uh-oh. I just got a letter from somebody that says that, uh, that says that uh, Adam Carolla played our interview on his podcast is an example of how not to do a radio interview. Are you interview. kidding me? <laughs> no. <laughs> I don't understand. You were amazing. You don't asked say that. every question don't you could say ask. That. I am so annoyed at that. Yeah, that guy stonewalled you. Here's the funny part about it. Well, uh, let me. Re- I'll read you the letter. Thank you. Corolla played your interview with him with him on his podcast. He used you as an example of how not to interview someone. Hundreds of interviews in a day, and yours was the worst. Then eight minutes of how he is a douche. Awesome. Now I don't know if he. Uh, I don't know if he's talking about us. I don't know what they're saying here. If they played our part about saying he was a douche, or if he said he was a douche. I'm reading this word for word. No, I think he's saying you're a douche. No, he no? says. Okay. He says Corolla played your interview. Blah blah blah. Use me as an example of how not to interview someone. Uh-huh. Then this person writes, hundreds of interviews in a day and yours was the worst. Hundreds, by the way. Uh, Then eight minutes of how he's a douche. Awesome. That's us, because we talked about him being a douche. So then he must have played our radio. I don't know. Do you think? I don't know how much of this is true or not. But the bottom line is this. He was a douche. You all know it. We, uh, you know, I don't know. This guy didn't want to answer questions. Please, the first thing he, you did was like relate to him, and you're like, "Hey, I'm. See- I, I don't understand. I mean, I understand. I'll, I'll tell you. We definitely. You have a different style than most. You're not like streamlined, but you're. You asked normal questions. I don't understand what could have been well, wrong. Well, besides that, I've got tons of friends in the business. People that come in here that are comedians that travel all over the country. Uh, it, it, listen, as evidence. To think this is the best show. I know. That this is that this is how, you know, Opie learned how to do that stuff. I want to so call Adam Carolla again. I wish we could talk to him. See, I think he, I did, I think he did it all on huh? purpose. I think what Marianne said is right. I think he stonewalled us on purpose. I think maybe he even had the bit in mind that he was going to do That's a bit what I'm on saying. his podcast. I'm saying he was a dick yeah. on purpose yeah. to play this. But then it, this person who loves to hate me, you know, and I'm glad I'm. Um, it's Elizabeth Martin, and it's really a guy. And he goes, "How come with all your radio experience, you don't know how to do a relevant interview?" Duh. I, I want to hear Elizabeth. I mean, uh, I used to know this guy's name. He's got a nickname. He's insane, and he loves to hate. I don't know why I don't know how to do an interview. <laughs> but fortunately, I pulled this off for 30 years, lousy or not. So it's just a job. I get paid. I've supported children. Some went to college. And that's all we all get to do. I'm just doing a job. Uh, if you want to insult me, go ahead. Maybe I don't know how to do a good we interview. We need to make sure Adam really did that. 
Tons of loser, listen to this now, tons of loser douchey radio personalities, and he picked your interview. Aren't you in the Radio Hall of Fame? Good part was that when I heard your voice, I was surprised to hear you were still on the air, let alone alive. This person knows, I know who this person mm-hmm. is, and it's a dude. Yeah. And it goes by the name Elizabeth Martin on the uh, letter. This is a joke email to get under your skin. Laugh and enjoy the fact your voice was heard by lots more today. Uh, on his podcast? I don't think so. We've been called today from Texas and Florida, and we're on iHeartMedia. And uh, he was fired, by the way, by a radio station in in L.A., for terrible ratings, and that's why he has a podcast. Mm-hmm, right. Is Adam Carolla more famous than Brother Weeze? By 80, 100 miles. But you know what fame is today? It's amazing. Because just Adam Carolla, who might be famous to you, Marianne, and mm-hmm. me, go out in the street, though. Yeah. Any, any bets. Anybody want to bet me this? Bring your money up here. Mm-hmm. Hate me all you want. Bring up money. I'll give you 10 to 1 that we walk down the streets of Rochester and no more than one out of ten people can explain to you who Adam Carolla is. For sure. You agree? Don't, Absolutely. Now, people think you're My agreeing with me because you're... Uh, I definitely right. don't agree with you plenty. You think, Paulie? No, I think that no, no, the majority would not know I don't know think he's he. a household name. I think some people know him. But I would love to actually make sure that w- that happened. Yeah, I'm going to do it. Uh, I'm probably and I want to hear it. I want to hear what he had to say. Because I think you opened with, oh, your first book was called President Me. What was that about? And then he just started to be a dick from there. And he yeah. was like, go buy it on yeah, Amazon. So what's wrong with saying about I, what was I wrong? No with clue. You with me, Uncle Trent? Woo. Ooh, chill. Yes, I am. How you doing today, brother? Weez? Uncle Trent is in the house. He's got a comedy show tonight, I hope. Yes, sir. Tonight, uh, 8 o'clock. 8 o'clock at the uh, Bonsai Sushi Bar, 503 South Avenue. Now, I got to make sure I do this interview correctly. Yeah. So what would you like me to ask you? I want you to just sing my name in French. Just, just sing <laughs> to me. That's all. Those two things I can't do, sing or <laughs> speak French. All right, you got to just give me a dollar, and then I'll tell everybody real good things about you, and I'll give you a good email. <laughs> you don't have to do anything. <laughs> Can you go back to the text? I want to read this guy's text that shows you what people think about fame. Fame is just not what it once was. It's so split up. We were saying that I, I, I tell this guy that thinks Adam Carolla is famous that wrote in, tell him to come up here with money. I'll give you five to one odds on your money that when we go out in the street, you're going to lose. Mm-hmm. But he writes... I think I'm wrong. He thinks that I'm wrong because Adam Carolla, uh, is that the right one? He has, has a show, has on, the DIY show on DYI Network about finding DIY. bad kind. Honey, there are a million shows on TV. <laughs> a million. I don't even know what the DIY or DYI DIY. Ne- network is. That's me. Uh, but th- th- how many shows do you think are on TV? Ugh. Do you know how many, bro, what you think is famous? There's people in major dramas on TV m- all over the place. They could walk down the street, you wouldn't know them in a million years. He's not that They're famous. on really, really big shows. This show you're talking about, holy crap. Wow. It's amazing. It is amazing. I don't you know, Now that I think of it, I just took, I'm sorry to take a tangent from Paul McCartney quitting dope. But I think that it probably got back to Adam Carolla that I was calling him all those douchebags. Yeah. And then he did it. Okay. That makes sense, right? Fine. Doesn't that make sense, though? Yeah, but who would tell him? A a lot of people. Yeah. People listening to this, to listen to this podcast. Yeah. Easy, Mm. right? Easy. Anyway, that's what happened. Great way to uh, take a break here, but I forgot that someone just texted in. Mark Marin discussed our show on his podcast with a legendary broadcaster, Phil Hendry, and they discussed this show in a very, very positive That's true. note. So screw yourself, Adam Carolla, you mother hug. Tonight at, uh, at, uh, it is Banzai. Banzai. Banzai Sushi and Comedy Emporium. Brother Willie is in uh, from the Bird Watching Society. Brother Dave Attell is at the Comedy Club. Tonight and tomorrow night, two shows, 7.30 and a 10 spot, fresh off a Channel 13 appearance. One of his bigger TV appearances in the last day. <laughs> Thanks for uh, having me in, guys. It's fine, brother. It's fine. It's uh, You were just on Conan a couple of weeks ago? Mm-hmm. That's great. Uh, so, birthday. Dave, here's the deal. Yeah? Uh, we know that you're often on the Adam Carolla podcast. Yes! I love Adam. Okay. We interviewed him yesterday, and one of the reasons that I requested the interview was, is that I, I actually have some things in common with the fella. Mm-hmm. Uh, I don't know if you know Howard Lapidus, 
Uh, uh, he's the how, agent or manager? Yeah. Okay. And he, he, he was the producer or, or producer. the owner of the man show. He oh, also, right. I helped him get his wife the job of producing the morning radio show on K-Rock in L.A., okay. where Adam was. And Trip Reeve, this is someone you don't know, but the guy responsible for putting me on the radio yeah. and in the radio business was the GM of that station there, and there's a whole bunch of other history. Long story short, so we're interviewing Adam Carolla to pimp that book right there. Right. And it was absolutely the worst interview I've ever done in 30 years on the radio. What? And he was an ick day. And because I'm not a great radio guy, I'm just me. Uh huh. Uh, the good ones that know how to be mean to guests, and it's funny and good radio. But I don't sincerely, because I t- said to Billy afterwards, "Man, if I only had the, you know." And Billy says, "You can't change now, because when the interview was over, we said some stuff." You oh, know, like, I what see. the hell's wrong with this dude? And what was wrong with the interview? What happened? He, he was he's pro. He, he didn't. He didn't want to answer. Oh. Uh, At one point, he, we said, "President Me." That's the name of your first book. That sounds like something I'd like. What's it about? And he goes, uh, "You can go on Amazon and buy it." I don't know. This is the kind and of we answers like, he okay, gave. Okay, yeah, it was wow. crazy. And to the point where I mentioned Howard Lapidus, mm-hmm. who I know. Uh, had a ton to do was his manager at one point yeah and uh tried to almost say he didn't hardly know the guy so it really was, it was a very very strange situation and so we got texts from people that heard him in other places most said he was uh sucked at this and then some said it was two different people texted in about him being on jay moore and saying one guy goes, man, he was great on Jay Moore. Oh, another see, going, he sucked on <laughs> yeah. Jay. Another one going, he sucked on Jay Moore. You never know anymore. And he was on Opie earlier in the day yesterday. But no, he was on Opie it. in studio. In studio, but killing it, having energy and oh. telling stories. You know, well that that you know, I'm sorry that happened because I enjoy doing Adam's show and I enjoy. You know what I like about Adam? He's a self starter Like this guy, books. Uh, I just told you I, I saw his movie deal. Road Hard. You know what's that? He did the movie Road Hard. Yeah. Oh. And like that was crowdfunded. Do you know how much work making a real movie is? Yeah. And then point. to like make a real movie with like all these different other players involved, like, you know, people and like like it's, it, it's gotta make the work like ten times harder. Right, so right. like uh I'm sorry that happened because I always uh first of all I I, I enjoy uh <laughs> I, I I always like being on Adam's show because he like basically, you know, you're, you're there, and you really don't know what's going to set him off, so it's good, like, training. You know, like, you never know, like, which way he's going to go. And I love I love that. I like the spontaneity hmm. of it. But I'm sorry. that's That ain't right. Especially <laughs> no, since see, you guys have bro, a history. It ain't is, right. But here's <laughs> the greatest part of it. So when we're done with it, mm-hmm. and it was, you know, who needs to come in here and get all uncomfortable and carrying on? But when we were done with it, and I, you know, the, it was painful as we were going on. And when we were done with it and we could make fun of it, we actually thought about keeping it for best ofs. Yeah. Because it's, you know, it's interesting. I'm sure the listeners love to see me get crapped on, and I'm being serious. Mm -hmm. It's fun to see that. And uh, it it was interesting. So we don't care after the fact. But, man, it's uncomfortable when you're doing it. Was it it one of those things where, like, there just was, like, no... Connection, the, the, to say the least. Really, he was and, stonewalling you. It seemed it sounded to me like he was holding back and just like giving uh huh answers like that. And reason I kept looking at each other, being like, yeah. what, "What are we doing? I mean, What's I, happening?" I have the interview if you want. To hear Someone it. just texted in, uh, replay some of Adam. It was so bad. Right. It's not important.